Okay, so here is the second part of discrete time system relationships. This is where we're going to really see the whole interaction of, of all of these different uh, representations that we've been talking about. <clears throat> so this diagram um, sums up all the different things that we've been looking at so far. Um, we've seen um, lots of different ways of talking about our system and thinking about it. We started from the difference equation. We saw that we could get the frequency response from that difference equation. We've also seen that by inspection we can get the transfer function. We've seen that those two things are related to each other by just simply evaluating on the unit circle, which just means taking the Z transform and everywhere there's a Z, replacing it by E to the J omega. So, for example, this Z inverse becomes E to the minus J omega. So we've seen that. We've also seen that from the transfer function, we can find the pole zero diagram. And from the pole zero diagram, we can assess the stability of the system. We've also seen that from the transfer function or the frequency response, we can get this thing called the impulse response. Now, we've not really seen what we can do with that yet, but later in the course, um, we'll be talking about how to use that to analyze systems. Um, but really, um, you know, these are the main things. These things over in the Z and frequency domain, those are our big tools um, for analyzing and understanding systems. So let's take a look at an example of how we would use all of these things to go back and forth and find different things about uh, out about the system. Uh, so uh, this is for a simple case of a, a first order uh, difference equation uh, and we can convert that directly into the transfer function or directly into the frequency response for this particular simple um, example. Uh, again you should be able to do that by inspection. Uh, from the transfer function we can get the frequency response directly uh, we just saw that we could get either one from the difference equation uh, but sometimes we start with the transfer function uh, here I'm showing it in the Z inverse form but it doesn't matter which form it's in um, we can um, do either one <clears throat> so uh, we just simply replace Z by e to the j omega or equivalently z inverse by e to the minus j omega. So that z inverse becomes an e to the minus j omega. So we're just simply evaluating the transfer function on the, free, um, on the unit circle. Um, once we have that um, frequency response, you know, technically I, said, I should say here plotting the frequency response. Once we have that, um, we can you know, do mathematics to use Euler's formula and so forth and uh, complex numbers or we can just use the freak Z command um, to get a plot of this thing. Once we have the transfer function it's convenient to put it into the Z form and then ask where we have um, pulls and zeros by just looking at the roots of the denominator roots of the numerator. And so then by looking at the um, pole zero diagram uh, we could actually go backwards. The only thing we can't get from the pole zero diagram is this constant beta. Um, so we, we can go from pole zero diagram to transfer function up to a multiplicative constant out in front. Um, now we can also go directly from this Z inverse form um, into um, the Z plane uh, command in MATLAB and that will make a nice pull zero plot for us. Um, one of the main reasons we want to look at the pull zero plot is to determine uh, stability of the system. If all the poles are inside the unit circle then the system is stable. Um, and then finally the impulse response 
Um, we can get that by either going transfer function, um, inverse Z transform, or frequency response, inverse DTFT. Um, so in both of these, you can look this up on the table um, and, and find the, the result for this particular example. Uh, technically, I should have a, a U of N there. So this is just a short little um, video uh, to kind of review all these different uh, all these different relationships. So if there's one set of notes and one video that you kind of want to pour over to try to help you study and prepare and get your brain in gear to understand all these different things, this is um, this is the one. Uh, so we'll stop there, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.